Hello and welcome to the Twee Couch Guitar YouTube channel. Today what we are going to get into is a response to a subscriber's comment in one of my other videos. What he had asked for was the tone differences between the Gibson R9 with custom buckers in it and the Gibson Les Paul Classic with custom buckers in it. So I think I can actually do this, I can help you out, and I can do a little bit of a demo, but let's lay down some ground rules. One ground rule is that I am not going to touch the volume and the tone. I'm gonna leave them all the way up at 10. The reason why is because they do have different pots, the two different guitars, and I don't want that being a factor. They also have different like caps and resistors and all that stuff. So we're gonna leave that off the table. Second thing is I'm going to do one riff on one guitar. I'm gonna to go to the next one and do it. It's gonna be close, it'll be similar. I'm gonna try and have the same pick attack and all of that. Three, I'm also gonna make sure that the pickup heights are the exact same. So I got out my calipers, I went ahead and measured it, and they are going to be the same for the neck and the bridge on both guitars. The final thing to all of this is I did go ahead and I checked the homage. I wanted to see what the output of the guitars were. So for the neck pickup on the R9, it came out to 7.97 kilo ohms, whereas on the Classic, it came out to 7.82 kilo ohms. So that's relatively the same. On the bridge pickup, the R9 came out to 7.93 kilo ohms, and the Classic came out to 8.01, also relatively the same. So I hope that you have a good time with this. I know I'm gonna have a good time with it. Let's go ahead and get started with this demo of sorts. All right, let's start out with the classic. This is the Neck Custom Bucker, and here we go. So to me, it actually seemed like on the neck pickup that the R9 was a little bit louder. Even though they're the same pickups, even though they're the same height, all of those things, to me, need be a little bit louder. So let's go ahead and let's test it with a different type sound. Still on the neck pickup, still running the amp clean. Here we go. Let's try the classic. So that was interesting. I, I did notice that one was a little bit darker in the room and also that this one ended up being a little bit clearer to me. Now there's a number of different reasons that could be. It could be that they are different pots, but I have everything up at 10 for all of them. Does make a little bit of difference, but at the same time, you yeah, know, this is a good comparison. All right, so let's go ahead and let's run this neck pickup a little bit dirty and we'll do some single line type things. Have a little bit of fun. Here we go. All 
All right, now let's try that on the R9. <laughs> Let's go ahead and let's switch down to the bridge pickup on this guy and let's see what it does dirty. <laughs> Let's go ahead and try this on the classic. Yep, and you know what? They sounded really similar in the room. Uh, you know, there's something to the fact that they're the same pickups. So do I have two guitars that are the exact same? No, they still feel different. They still are a different weight. They have different necks on them. And in all honesty, I'm more likely to take this one out to a gig where it's a little bit of a shady place as opposed to the R9, but if I'm gonna go ahead and play somewhere where I know I can watch it and be careful with it and other people will be careful around it, then I'll take the R9. It just kind of really depends on, on what I'm looking for. We should go ahead and we should check out the middle position on both. <laughs> Okay, so what I noticed right away is I noticed that this is a little bit darker, it's a little meatier, there's a lot more mids to it, where once again on the classic with the custom buckers in the middle position, things seem to be a little bit clearer, a little thinner, the mids are shifted a little bit higher, which is interesting because once again, same pickups, kind of, of course it could be wound a little bit different, they do have a little bit of a different ohm reading on them, but ultimately, you know, they do sound a little bit different, but they are not necessarily completely different. In a band mix, you may not notice a difference, but then again, this one or the other one might just poke right out depending on who the other people are in the band. Let's put some dirt in the middle position. <laughs>
Yeah, this one's definitely beefier and girthier in the room, so. All right, well, with all that said, that was a, a nice little demo of how all that works. I would mess with the pots and see where that's at, but these don't have the same pots. And so if they don't have the same pots in them, then what's the use of doing that test? This is just put it up at 10, see how it goes. If you'd like to hear something different, let me know. And thanks for being a part of this. If you like what you heard, make sure you hit like and subscribe. Also, don't forget to check out the podcast. Don't forget to check out uh, us on social media, on Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook. Make sure you look some of the other videos that I have and all of that. This is a fun hobby, so glad to be a part of it. Until next time.